So I've been playing on a friend of mine's Minecraft server recently, and he runs this mod called MCMMO. What I want to look at today and try to bot is acrobatics, which is a skill in MCMMO. It doesn't really matter if you're not into Minecraft, but what we're going to do is we're going to look at what this skill is and then specifically how to automate it. So XP game. To gain XP in this skill, you need to perform a dodge in combat or survive from the heights that damage you. So there's two ways to gain XP. One of them seems a lot like fairly complicated, dodging in combat. What does that really mean? I don't really know, but survive from heights that damage you. That I can do. So if all we need to do is fall down, you can already start thinking of ways that we could automate this. When I'm trying to automate something, the first thing I do is try to distill it down to its core elements. What do we need to do? We need to fall off of something. So this is where the fact that you can manipulate the world in Minecraft around us has some great impact for us. So you can see I made some platforms, and the idea is that I want to just fall down from each of these platforms all the way to the bottom to gain a bunch of experience. So the first thing I want to do is at the top of this thing, I want to set a command to set my home on top of this closed to block. And the home command in this server allows you to warp back to a previous position. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to look straight ahead, as straight as I possibly can so I don't go left or right, and then slash set home A. And then basically I'll go over here and then I just type home A and I warp right straight back here. Next, I just want to move forward. So we're just going to hold forward. This is the W key. Remember that that'll be important. And then as you can see on the right, I'm gaining acrobatics experience. Now, a couple other key elements to this are the fact that I'm wearing feather falling four boots. And also that I've got a beacon over here with regeneration. My, my hearts are going to be increasing over time. And the feather falling boots mean, mean I'm going to take less damage. So I'm going to wait here a little bit for my hearts to come back up. And then once they're ready, I'm going to type in home A again to get back up to the top. And then hold W to repeat. Sounds pretty good. All right, well, let's implement that. So the first thing I always want to do with my script is have a way to access it. So I'm just going to hit the tilde key. Next, we want to do a bunch of loops so that this will run infinitely. So I'm just going to go loop, I don't know, like 100. You can make that number whatever you want. And then we're going to make sure that we're at the top so that the script has a starting position where we know we're at all the time. So I'm going to go send T to open up the uh, chat box. And then I'm going to sleep for about 100 milliseconds so that it has plenty of time to open. Then I'm going to send slash home A and then the enter key. So now we know for a fact that we're in the correct position. Next, I'm going to send w down key normally in ahk it's going to default to just tapping a key but in some cases like this one you want the w key to be continuously held down for a very long time this is where the down property comes in later we're going to want to send the w up key so i've gone ahead and done that and then we're going to sleep for some amount of time in the middle i already know it's about 11 750 milliseconds so i'm going to go ahead and put that in so now at this point, I know that we're going to be at the bottom of this set of platforms and we need to regenerate some health. So based off of my previous research into this, I know that the regeneration beacon restores a half a heart every two and a half seconds. And I'll say we'll need about five hearts. So doing that math, it'll be 25,000 milliseconds. And that's it. That's the whole script. In this video, we took a game mechanic and then figured out what was the simplest possible way to gain experience in this mechanic. Next, we manipulated the environment to allow the facilitation of this mechanic, which is falling down in a row. And then finally, we used auto hotkey to send our commands for us. So now I can go to bed. Thank you very much.